What's going on guys, my name is Igenti and today I'm back with a brand new video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to install the Nexus Mod Manager to mod The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim or any other game at your will. Open your search engine, go to your search bar, I'll leave the link in the description, type in Nexus. Locate Nexus Mods and Community. Now. If you do not have an account associated with the Nexus, you must create an account. Come to where it says, not logged in. Create an account. Register now. It's quick, free, and easy. Register. Ignore everything on this page and just go ahead and scroll all the way down to the bottom. Create account. Fill in all your information. Username, email address, password, confirm password, gender, registration question, security check, and then go ahead and confirm your birth date here at the bottom. And then click continue. And then after you do that, you're going to go through your confirmation step. And then as soon as you finish your confirmation step, you're going to confirm everything through your actual email address. Now, as soon as you followed all those steps that I've just showed you and guided you through, if you're not already logged in, go ahead and log in. So as soon as you're logged in, come up here to the top where it says install NMM. If you're using Visa, Windows 7, 8, and 10, you're going to click this link. If you're using Windows XP, you're going to click this link. I don't know what this is for, so don't even bother clicking on this. Now, if you get this error message popping up, you're just going to go ahead and click on this link. It tells you to. As soon as you see this downloading at the bottom and you're able to click on it, go ahead and click on it. And if it's not going to allow you to, go ahead and locate it in your downloads folder. Now, as soon as you open that up, you're going to get this on your screen. I'm not sure if you can see my screen or not. Most likely you can, but it's going to ask you to make changes to your device. You're going to go ahead and click yes. Now, as soon as this pops up, we're going to go through the setup. Choose your language. Click OK. I accept. Next, 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 click next, click next, and then install, click next, and then finish. Now you're going to see this pop up on the screen. Now you're going to go ahead and search for the games that you already have installed on your PC that you plan on modding. So for me, it's only Skyrim check it and click stop searching and then click OK now I'm gonna click on Skyrim and click OK click OK now this is a very important step for this one right here you're gonna go ahead and create an individual folder because that's where all your mods will be installed at so I already created a folder for myself so I'm gonna go ahead and click on this and I'm going to go to this PC. I'm going to go to New Volume, ne Nexus Mods and Community. I'm going to go ahead and click on this folder. And I'm going to click OK. I left everything the same for here. The only thing that I changed was this folder right here. Come down here, click Finish. Go ahead and click Yes. Gonna go full screen. Now you can see all this on the page. Now I'm gonna show you guys exactly what to do and how to install these mods. Now, if you want to run big mods like Frostfall and stuff like that, we're gonna go ahead and have to install SKSC, which is the Skyrim script extender. Open up your search engine. Go to your search bar. Type in SKSE. And also leave the link in the description as well. Click enter. Now, come down here where it says installer. Just click on the installer. Now, if it does not show up here at the bottom, go ahead and search for it in your downloads folder. Click yes if you have a authorization thing that pops up. Next. And then you're going to leave this and you also want a desktop shortcut. And just click install. And that's it. Just click close. 
Now, as you can see, we got two Skyrims on the uh, desktop. You don't really have to use this one anymore, so if you want, you can remove it from your desktop, but I would just keep it there in just in case. But the main one you're going to use to start up Skyrim is the one that has SKSE right underneath. Now what we want to go ahead and do is open up the Skyrim that has SKSE on it and open it up. It's going to load faster than usual, by the way. Now, to confirm that you have the SKSC installed, if you go up by the 1 on your keyboard and go to the left with the squiggly line on, you're going to go ahead and click that. And as you can see, we have pulled up the, uh, we're going to type get SKSE version. Click enter. And there you guys go. It's done. Escape. And go ahead and close that. And then we're going to go ahead and exit out of Skyrim. After you install SKSE, the Skyrim script extender, you're going to come down here and log in. Now, we're going to go ahead and type in our username. Okay, we are logged in. Now we can start installing some mods. We're going to go ahead and go to Nexus. And now what we want to go ahead and do is locate our game. Skyrim and then go to the top where it says files go to top files I've already I already installed sky UI so go ahead and install that it should be the first mod you should install now we're gonna go ahead and look for another mod that we can install so for this one we're gonna go ahead and do quality world map click and we're gonna go to files and since we're using SKSE, I would do download with manager, but it won't work. So we're going to go download manually. Click on this. And you should see it downloading down here in the bottom left. Got an exit out of this. And let's let that finish downloading. And it is finished. Minimize that. Open up our Nexus. And now what you want to do is to insert the mod into the system. You're going to go up here to this plus sign click on it and then there it is right there in our downloads folder click this open and then look for the user interface and the quality world map is right there click on it come up to the check mark and just click check and we're gonna leave it just like that install all roads and then try to pick this up and then click install and boom, mods installed. All right, there we go. We just installed our very first mod. Well, actually, our first two mods because I tested out the Sky UI first, and now we're going to go in-game and test it out for you guys. So always open up Skyrim with SKSE, this one, where it says SKSE. Just open it up. It's always a quick launch. Then we're going to go. We're just going to load our gameplay. We might have to start a new game. Not exactly sure, but we're going to go ahead and load it anyways. Right, there's only one way to find out. So we're going to go ahead and open our world map. Okay, the mod works, guys. As you guys can see, we got all the roads installed, and it's a lot clear. i remove it. And yeah, so it looks like it's working. Yep, the mod works. Clear map, all roads are installed. There you guys go. Alright, I hope this video wasn't helpful for you guys. I struggled a little bit through this. It took me a couple hours to put this video together. So it would mean a lot to me if you guys dropped a like on this video. And anyways guys, it has been your boy Agenti. And I'm out. Peace.